Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thank you for clicking on this video. This is the Adrian Graphics and Marketing Channel, and I have another great video for you guys today. Just if you're a creative entrepreneur or anything that has anything to do with creativity, music, art, drawing, graphics, whatever that is, this video is going to help you a lot. So the video I want to talk to you guys about today is how to overcome creative block. Maybe you're even a writer. How do you get out of your shell and get out of that creative block and start to build momentum and create, get creativity flowing again? Well, this is a big area that I've had happen to me many, many times. As an entrepreneur and a business owner, we get trapped in the day-to-day -day of running a business, dealing with clients, doing sales, and wearing tons of different hats, right? So how do we get out of that mindset of having to switch from hat to hat and get back into our creative hat? For a lot of us, the creativity and the art and the design is what's fueled us to get to where we are today in our careers and has helped us build our careers because we have a high level of creativity and a high level of artistic ability, whatever that is in, if it's art, drawing, writing, whatever. So how do you get your creativity back if you're dealing with a block? Well, today I'm going to share a few tips with you that are going to help you overcome that very, very easily. All right, so let's get right into it. All right. So number one, and this is a super important deal, is a lot of us, like I said, are wearing tons of hats in our day-to-day -day business as a freelancer. And if you're full-time, you're wearing a ton of hats. What you need to do is you need to clear your mind. And what I mean by clear your mind is I need you to get rid of everything that's in your head right now that's weighing you down, that's keeping you locked and trapped and held back from what it is that you're truly passionate about and what your really your goal is, and that is your creativity and getting your creativity flowing again. So what you need to do is you need to clear your mind of all of those things. And so how do you do that? Well, there's a number of ways to do that. And how I do it is I like to write down everything that I have that is due, and not just in my business, but also my personal life. Sometimes there are things that you have unfinished in your personal life that are keeping you and creating a block for you to be able to move forward even creatively, okay? It's affecting that part of your brain. So what you need to do is go through and write down a list of all of the things that you are thinking about that you are you have to do that are deliverables, that are things that you are owed to people. Maybe it's projects that have been, haven't been finished. I want you to write all of those down. Every single one of those, write them down on a piece of paper and get them all out of your head. Then whatever conversations that you have that you haven't had yet, maybe it's a conversation with your wife, with your business partner, with a client, with anybody, I want you to get those conversations out of the way. I want you to pick up the phone and dial it. And even if you don't have the specific conversation that you were intending on having, even if it's just to say, hey, you know what? I have a ton of stuff going on right now. I'm currently dealing with a creative block and being super transparent. I have a creative block going right now. And I know I owe you a conversation. I know we need to chat, but I need to be able to clear this off my mind. And I need to be able to revisit this in 24, 36, 48 hours. Give them a realistic time frame. If you make them wait too long, they're not going to be happy. So you need to go and actually have those conversations and at least communicate with people. When you start blocking people out and start cutting people off and stop communicating, it's going to create blocks within yourself. So that could be another cause for why you're experiencing that. Okay. Now, number two is that I want you to fill yourself back up. Now, a lot of us creative people, we stay up really late at night. We spend a lot of our time uh, working in the middle of the nights or even some of us getting up really, really early and we don't have a whole lot of balance. That's the big thing with artists is the balance in our life we struggle with. And so I know that's something I've struggled with myself, pulling all nighters for weeks at a time, you know, sleeping, working 80, 90 hour weeks. That is not a recipe for you being filled up and you being able to work efficiently. efficiently. So the key is going to be helping you get filled back up. Well, how do you do that? Well, some of the ways that I fill myself back up is I surround myself with things that fill me up. I like to read a book by an author that I haven't read yet. I like to go and watch YouTube videos of my buddy Roberto Blake. Uh, I like to go watch my favorite movie. Uh, I go spend time with my daughter. Do things that make you happy, things that bring you joy, things that bring you laughter, things that bring you excitement, things that inspire you. 
that is how you fill yourself back up. And then for me, what I do every single day is I spend, even if it's just a couple minutes, even in the morning for five to 10 minutes, as I pray, I connect back with my source. Maybe you like to meditate, but it's important to clear your mind of all of those thoughts that you have, get them out on paper, and then fill yourself back up by connecting back to your source, connecting back to your creator, connecting back to what I like to say, my God, my awesome, loving God. And if I connect to him and I'm actually putting him first, then a lot of those blocks will just fall away. And it's happened to me. I can't even tell you how many times I've had creative blocks and I just woke up early in the morning and I prayed and I thanked God and I was showed gratitude and I was just grateful and I spent that time one-on-one with him. And then the rest of my day, I felt centered, I felt at peace and I felt grounded. Helping you get filled back up is gonna help you become grounded. And that's what you really need to get rid of that block is to become very, very grounded. Clear your thoughts, get all that stuff off of your shoulders, all that weight off of you, and then fill yourself back up with excitement, with joy, with passion, with with inspiration. That is why I say designed to inspire because inspiration is a big part of why I'm here to help you guys. Is I wanna inspire you guys to kind of think differently, to overcome some of these challenges. And, and by doing that, you're gonna fill yourself back up. So number three, and this is a big one, is I want you to surround yourself with inspiration. You took a very big step by jumping on this video today and watching this, and I really appreciate that. And that goal obviously is going to help you accomplish getting your creative block, getting past your creative block. And that's what I'm here to do for you. So if you can actually focus on that by surrounding yourself with, maybe it's your mentor, maybe it's somebody like your family member, but find inspiration around you, go to an art gallery, take a walk outside, go camping. Maybe you just take the day off. Maybe what you need to be able to get rid of your creative block or even just half the day. It's just going out and enjoying the world, stopping and looking up at the sky. I can't even tell you how many times over the last year that I've had those moments where I stop in the middle of my day as I'm getting out of my car and I'm usually so busy, I got so much going on in my mind and I just, I'm so distracted by what I have to do that I don't take the time to take a breath and just stop. And sometimes that's just what we need to do. We just need to stop. And you know what? My saying, and I don't say this by accident, is keep looking up. And that's for a reason, as I want you to try to, on a daily basis, not only look up at who are, who my inspiration is and who your inspiration should be, is that's your creator. He is the one that has given you your God-given gifts. Uh, but you also need to take the time to look up and just enjoy the small things that are around you. The things that you don't obviously, that you, you don't think about on a daily basis or even momentarily, but being able to live in the moment and just take, take in the small things in life. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in the big projects and the big goals and the big dreams and the big aspirations that we forget about the small things. And so I want you to really remember the small things in your life and focus in on just surrounding yourself with inspiration. Maybe it's music. Maybe there's a, there's a show or a karaoke or something going on. Maybe you just need to sing. Maybe you need to turn off your, your computer, your tablets, all your devices, except for maybe your cell phone. Maybe you just need to sing. Maybe you don't need your cell phone on, but maybe you just need to sing. Maybe you just need to get that out and that's going to help create and get the juices flowing. And that actually leads me to number five, or I'm sorry, number four. And that one here is just doing something easy. A lot of us get caught up like you have this big project right and you got a creative block. Okay, I got this brand I got to create for this boxing guy. And man, I like to create a block and normally it just flows so easy, but I've been doing sales and meetings and running my team. And I just, I can't get back into that creative mindset. How do I, how do I get out of that? It starts with just doing something easy. Grab a notebook, grab a little piece of paper. And in fact, grab a post-it note and just start doodling. Start doodling while you're watching a YouTube video. Start doodling while you're doing something outside. Maybe just sketch something. something. It could be a smiley face. It could be a little doodle. It could be a, a, a little poem. Whatever it is that you need to do, just do something that's easy that you know how to do already. Something that comes to you naturally. That's going to help you start picking up momentum because maybe the project that you took on is bigger than you had even anticipated and, and there's a lot of pressure around that and that pressure is creating that mental block. So if you want to get over that mental block, Start by building some momentum so that by the time you actually get two, three, four, five steps into the process, that big task that you looked at now looks very easy too. So that's some good advice I got for you is just do something easy. It doesn't have to be complicated. And then the last one, and this one I cannot tell you how important it is because this is something I've been doing very actively lately between my business partners, Raul, Tag Talks Live, uh, some of the guys that work for me, Chris and Caesar and people on my team is collaboration. 
I collaborate with my team on a daily basis, sometimes too much. They're trying to get their work done and I'm like, hey, what about this? And hey, what about that? And I get them off on these crazy tangents, get them all excited and pumped up. <coughs> but as the CEO, that's my job. It's my purpose and mission to inspire my team, to get them thinking, to get them thinking outside the box and even throwing that box away, okay? I want to inspire people on my team, around me, my clients, my friends, my family, to actually get out there and collaborate with each other. There is something that my friend Drew has created called the law of collaboration. And collaboration is a powerful, powerful tool. When two or more come together, man, I, can, I, just, I can't begin to stress this enough. You have to collaborate with other people. You, whether it, Maybe it's your competitors. And I've been posting on YouTube, other YouTube channels and other YouTube video people that are making content on a regular basis saying, hey, why don't we collaborate and do some videos together? And you know what? I haven't gotten anywhere with that yet. No one said, yeah, I'd love to collaborate with you. I think I put it on Roberto and Chris Record and a few other people saying I'd love to collaborate and I haven't heard anything, but you know what? It's a numbers game. Just like with sales and anything else, I know that if I continue to contact people that are in my space, that are in my industry, that are making things happen and I collaborate with them, there are so many benefits and so much growth that's going to come from that. So I want you to go out there and find some collaborative partners. Maybe you go to a networking uh, event or a networking meeting, or maybe you go to a, a co-working space. Co-working spaces are a great place to have conversations. Conferences are the same thing. You can collaborate with people that are on your level. The other great one that I can give you a suggestion to is Facebook groups. Man, I have been connected in Facebook groups now for a couple of years, really actively using a few different groups that my friends have started. Uh, Billion Dollar Brotherhood, the ClickFunnels group. And I can tell you that through the collaboration that I've had, the relationships that I'm collaborating there, I've had an incredible amount of growth and I've found a lot of really good tools and resources and things that I just wouldn't have had if I wasn't collaborating within Facebook groups. And I'm, and I'm willing to just give to them without expecting anything in return because I know when I need them, they're going to rise to the occasion and they're going to be there for me too. So don't hesitate to collaborate. There's a law of collaboration that I want you guys to really take to heart and uh, you just can't go wrong. So those are the five tips. I'll go through them again real quick just to summarize. Number one is clear your thoughts. You got to clear your thoughts. Get yourself completely empty of all the blocks and all of the things and all the pressure and all the conversations you, you've been having. Clear those out. Number two is you actually got to fill yourself back up. Spend some time meditating, reading, doing things that fill you up, that bring you joy and excitement. Number three is I want you to surround yourself with inspiration. There's inspiration everywhere, outside, online, wherever you find your inspiration. Maybe it's video games, whatever that is. Find your inspiration, go after it, and just spend time reading, reading, researching, reviewing, doing that kind of stuff. That's really going to be a huge benefit for you. Number four, do something easy. Don't overcomplicate it. Maybe you're just overthinking the project, project or the task that you have the block on. Just do something you know that you can do without even trying. Maybe you start with drawing a little cartoon character. Then maybe you draw a car. Then maybe you draw a whole scene of like a whole underwater scene. Then maybe you draw a comic book. And then next, just do things that, that are easy to you, that come easy. Maybe it's not drawing. Maybe it's designing a business card. Then you go from designing a business card to designing some stationery. You just got to bite off smaller chunks a lot of times, okay? And then the last one, like I said, number five, this is my favorite one, and this is collaborate. The law of collaboration, you got to collaborate with other people. It helps create momentum. It helps create inspiration. It helps do all of the things that I had told you before. It helps you clear your thoughts. It helps you really get positive feedback and objectivity that is really, really hard to find in today's day and age. So those are what I got for you today. All five tips. I know they'll really help you out if you can apply them. And I want to hear if you got rid of your creative block. So if you found this video, it's because you've been struggling with a creative block. And if you haven't, then props to you. But I'm here to help the people that are stuck. And I want to help you get unstuck. So if you need anything else, feel free to drop a comment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you can get all the updates for way more videos that I have coming. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. God bless you guys. And as always, keep looking up.